Today from the vault, we have a Ruger Service 6, a six shot 357 service revolver. Now these guns have been overlooked and underrated pretty much ever since they came out. They're a wonderful design and they were developed with a very special purpose in mind. Uh, back in the 1960s, Bill Ruger and his team looked around and he couldn't help but notice that every law enforcement officer in the country, every bank guard, every security guard, were carrying either a Colt or Smith & Wesson in their pocket. Now Ruger had built their reputation on single actions and on semi-automatic 22s up to that point, but this was their effort to get into the law enforcement and military market, which is huge. Now you take a look at it, there's nothing unusual about this gun. It is a typical swing out cylinder, six shot, service type revolver with a four inch barrel. It's got some great features. It's got that Ruger rugged reliability. We don't get a lot of calls about parts for these guns. Even though they're obsolete, almost 99% of them are out there still running just fine. They've been discontinued for a long time. Like I said, this was brought online to compete with this gun, the Smith & Wesson Model 10 and in 357 the Model 13. The Ruger's a little beefier, a little bit, a little bit heavier too. When you put a bull barrel on this gun, it's pretty much the same. It did have the one little flaw that the Smith & Wesson K-frames had, and it, that's, it's a medium frame, and if you want to shoot 357 Magnum full loads all the time, eventually these things will loosen up. As beefy as this thing, it'll still, it'll still take its toll. That's why the Ruger, that's why Ruger developed the uh, GP100, the big 357, and that'll take them all day long. But this gun was meant to be carried in a holster for duty personnel. It's an elegant little design. It's got everything you want. It's got a smooth action for a, for a Ruger. It's got a very nice smooth action. It was available in stainless steel and in blued finish. There were three versions. The Security 6 had the adjustable sights. This is the Service 6, which is the equivalent of a Model 10 Smith & Wesson. And then there was a Speed 6, which had a rounded butt and was available with a snub nose barrel. So Ruger offered something for everybody across the board. Unfortunately, if you don't know what happened, what happened was um, the 80s came along and everybody went to nine millimeters and suddenly departments were dumping Smith & Wesson and Ruger and Colt revolvers left and right and buying up new Wonder Nines with double stack magazines. And the revolvers went the way of the dodo bird for most departments, still, still true today. There were a lot of holdouts, a lot of state patrols liked to have revolvers because of the extra magnum power they had uh, available. But today, you don't find that many service revolvers. That market has gone over to mostly the civilian population and a lot to overseas, uh, to foreign police forces and armed forces, for that matter. So all in all, a great design. If you happen to see one of these at a good price at a gun show, feel free to pick one up because they're a good gun, they're accurate, reliable, and they don't wear out. That's all we have for this one. If you have any guns you'd like to have us present, drop us a comment and we'll do our best to get it to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time when we bring you another gun from the vault.